Let's now describe the pedal. The Starlight models three iconic echo delay machines that are the Echoplex EP3 tape delay, the Electro Harmonix Deluxe Memory Man and a digital delay. When registering the pedal, you can download an additional vintage Cooper Time Cube delay effect. The Starlight features an engine that powers separate stereo instances of each delay effect, so that it's like having two tape or backup brigade hardware units running simultaneously, giving us a full stereo spread, spatial textures and seamless delay effect transitions with trays. And this is cool. It provides silent switching, I mean, UAFX pedals are designed to switch on and off seamlessly and silently and it's true bypass. The pedal operates in two modes, live mode or preset modes. In live mode the sound reflects the current position of the knobs, switches and LEDs, where in preset mode you hear the settings that are stored as a preset. We can store only one preset in this pedal, which is honestly a very poor functionality for the pedal of this price. To enter live mode, we should press the left foot switch. To tap the tempo in live mode, we should short press and don't hold the right foot switch twice or more. To enter preset mode, we should press and hold the right foot switch for 1.5 seconds or longer until the effect type LED blinks rapidly. To tap the tempo in preset mode, we should short press, don't hold, the right foot switch twice or more as we do in live mode. Let's now talk about the controls. The starlight knobs and switches control each delay effect similarly, but the functions of the controls vary depending on the current selected effect. This chart, downloadable from Universal Audio website, is a must have in order to use the pedal properly. We have this knob with which you can select the type of delay you want to use, then the delay feedback mix and division work similarly for each delay type, while the ABC switch and the color and mod knobs work differently according to the delay type selected. For instance, if you have selected the tape delay, the ABC switch lets you select the condition of the tapes that could be mint, used or worn out. If you select the analog dim, the ABC switch selects between vibrato or chorus modulation or nothing. A cool knob is the color one, uh, with which in tape EP you can define the gain of the tap recorder and in the memory man mode you can define the gain of the repeats. Pretty cool. So, as I was saying, this chart can really help us to properly use the pedal. As regards inputs and outputs, we have two unbalanced TS inputs and outputs so that the starlight can operate in mono, dual mono and stereo modes with automatic mono stereo detection. It also has a USB-C connection which allows to connect the Astra to a computer for firmware updates. Furthermore, it features Bluetooth version 5 connectivity in order to connect the pedal to the app for further functionalities. At the moment of this video, the app is still not available. Finally, it runs at 9V and 400mA and the power supply is not included in the box. Final considerations here, and please notice that these are gonna be my personal opinions and you may not agree with me, and this is totally fine. First of all, the pros. Well, this pedal hosts a very nice collection of classic delay effects that are modeled very well, and the stereo operation allows us to create pretty interesting sounds, in my opinion. And it sounds good, basically. And now the cons. First of all, it is not MIDI controllable, as it does not have MIDI ports. And currently, as far as I know, it is not controllable neither via USB. The other cons I would mention is that it lacks an expression pedal input, which would has allow me, for instance, to control the amount of effect while playing. That is typically how I use delay effects. Now, if you have seen my review of the Astra modulation machine, 
you know that I was very upset by the lack of MIDI input and the availability of just one preset, where we had three modulation effects in the Astra. So that, in my opinion, the Astra was not worth the money. Now, here I see more value from this pedal, and here I miss less the availability of MIDI controls, as I typically use one or two delays when I play live. So I am fine with just the only one preset available in the Starlight. What I really miss actually is the expression pedal input, which is really useful in my opinion in a pedal like this. Now I have to say that I like so much these delays that I can overcome all these limitations. And even if it is very pricey, I can see and understand better the value for money of this pedal compared to the Astra. But now I'm very curious to hear your opinions. What do you think? Is it worth the flagship price? Please let me know your precious and valuable opinions in the comment below. You have now reached the end of this video, hope you enjoyed and if you did it, please subscribe to my channel, hit the notification bell and leave a thumbs up, it would be of a great help. And of course you would not miss my future videos. If you're interested in my IRs, you can check out the link in the card above or description below where there is also a link to a playlist of songs of mine. Thank you for watching, see you in the next video, bye bye.